Hello everyone! The full eighth season of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse has been released today, which contains secret scenes that you haven't seen before. And in this video, I will conduct their full, detailed, and most interesting analysis, and I will find every secret and Easter egg that was hidden in these scenes. Who lives with the blue cameraman and what kind of mysterious person is hiding under this blanket? A hint of what new race did Dom Studio leave for us? And is there really a G-Man apocalypse coming? Get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because it will be extremely exciting. Let's go. So in the first secret scene, which takes place immediately after the 31st episode, we see a blue cameraman waking up in his house. And the very first shots caused me some confusion. Because for some reason, this guy is sleeping on the floor, although the sofa is literally next to him. And immediately after waking up, the agent starts cooking breakfast. And when I watched this scene for the first time, I immediately had the following question. What is he going to eat anyways? And why does he need food at all? Because in the 23rd episode, we saw how the same drill men ate something like machine oil. And probably other races adhered a pretty similar diet. And so I assumed that he probably wasn't cooking for himself, but then for whom? We'll come back to this later, and now I'll tell you about the Easter eggs that I found. In the frame where the cameraman is slicing a salad, you can see a box with a portrait of the TV man who is apparently a popular chef and has his own brand of products, which this guy in a blue shirt uses. There is also a large painting near the door which depicts a camera, which clearly refers to the earliest episodes when the Skibidi toilets were just beginning their conquests, and cameramen left this sign everywhere in protest. On the other side of the door, there is another portrait, or even a photograph, on which you can definitely distinguish the blue cameraman and the pencilman bouncer, and presumably the pencilman gunsmith, based on his impressive size at least. And for some reason, this whole photo is outlined, although this may simply be due to the design of the pencilmen themselves. However, this is still strange to me, because in the same room there is also another photo of a blue cameraman with another pencilman, and this photo is already in normal condition. But what is interesting is that on the first photo you can see a Morse-coded message, which I have deciphered, and there is a hidden word, sorry. And probably it is addressed to the one in the last photo, or to the one under the blanket. But what he is apologizing for is still unclear. The photos do not end there because there are at least two more in this room. One with the same cameraman, and he is alone here. And on the other it is impossible to understand who exactly has been depicted because the photo seems to be smeared with black ink, and I assume that it should depict someone who lives with this cameraman, but it is impossible to say anything about this photo. There is also a stack of books in the same room, and there is a word on each of them. Camera, speaker, TV, clock, drill, and pencil. And I think it's not hard to guess that these are all the races of the Alliance that are currently represented in the series. However, why did the creators of the series put this secret here? Obviously, they want to tell us something by this, and most likely it is connected with the appearance of a new race in the future. And in this regard, I have some thoughts that I will tell you right now. First of all, this fan catches our eyes, which can tell us what kind of new race is presented to us, and this is Fan Men. I also have an assumption that a representative of this race may be in this room right now, and you are looking right at him at this moment. Yes, so he is the one hiding under this blanket. But then another question arises, which I put for you to think about at the very beginning of this video. Why did the blue cameraman bring food here? If it's a new robotic race like the others, then it's pointless only if it's human? Perhaps the last one left in this world after the beginning of the conquests of the Skibidi toilets? Or even more crazily, is it the Skibidi toilet hiding under this blanket? Because only these two creatures actually have a head using which they can actually eat food in its classical sense? And you know, the second option seems to be much more likely here. Because based on these outlines, the head of this creature is somehow too big, don't you think so, guys? I'll leave this fact for you to think about, so now let's move on to the next one. On it, a Skibidi toilet placed in a robotic suit welds a huge kind of construction. There are other Skibidi engineers in the same suits in this exact room as well. And based on their appearance, these are not combat suits at all because they have a lot of tools on them. Instead of the right hand, they have a welding machine, while the left hand looks like an ordinary one. Each of them has flashlights and spare welding machines on their backs. All but one of the Skibidi have circular saws and a strange device that I cannot identify. And they are also equipped with some kind of small drill. 
And all these skibidi are the most common toilets that are simply placed in these suits and just control them. So when the opening of this mysterious box begins, you can see the triangle emblem, which is suspiciously reminiscent of the Iron Man emblem from Marvel comics and films. And perhaps this can tell us about the abilities of the one who is being hidden in there. So I think that this did not come as a surprise to anyone, but G-Man himself is actually hidden in here, whom we have not seen for a very long time. And he became this very weapon that was predicted to appear one day. And his appearance reminded me of the game called Half-Life Alex, in which the same G-Man was hidden in a box until the main character freed him, who found out who was there only at the end and kept him in this box using the excuse that some terrible weapon was actually hidden in there. But let's go back to the Skibidi G-Man now. You can immediately notice the new improvements that he has, namely two guns on his head which are connected to something that is remotely resembling headphones. There is also a mask on his face, but I think it is needed for anesthesia in order to perform operations to upgrade him even further, which most likely ended already, and he has just been awakened from his dream. And the fact that he is awake means that the Alliance did not have time to prevent what they were so afraid of. And from that moment on, the G-Man Apocalypse Project was put into action. And this could become a very big problem for the Alliance soon. However, the situation may also be different, namely that the Skibidi toilets could have had to wake up the not fully ready G-Man yet in a hurry. Because as we remember from the last episode, the Alliance was already directly near the last known Skibidi base, and the agents came out to be victorious from there. And perhaps that is why the Skibidi toilets had to put this plan into action in a hurry exactly. And why this may be quite useful for the forces of the Alliance. Because at one very important moment, something may not go according to the Skibidi's plan. Well, we will find out exactly what will happen soon when the 32nd episode of Skibidi Toilet Multiverse will get released. And that was all for today. Be sure that you are subscribed to my channel and it was me, Iso Chad. See ya!